What's up, everybody? How's everybody feeling? Are you feeling good? Are you feeling great? The real question is, are you feeling fantastic? Well, great. It's going to be uh, even more exciting uh, because I'd like to welcome our very special guest, Mike Mitchell, please. Here's a mic What's up? for you. What's up, Comic-Con? How's everybody doing? Good? Hey, Van. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Mike, you do all sorts of things. I do a lot of different things. None of them really great. Um, I have a podcast called Doughboys, which is a food podcast, which is what someone screamed out about earlier. Yay! And uh, it's about, we review fast food and chain restaurants, so... Uh, this is better food than I usually eat, so this will be great. Well, you haven't seen it yet, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, also, please give a uh, round of applause to our very brave food testers. Hello, food testers. So, uh, what is Eat the Universe? Eat the Universe is a uh, pretty fun show that we do. It appears every other Tuesday uh, on Marvel.com and on YouTube, and it is basically uh, the Marvel cooking show. It's so crazy that I get to be the chef of heroes and also the hero of chefs. Um, that was a really great thing to put on my resume. Um, and uh, it's really great. We take uh, superheroes, supervillains, characters of all kinds, and then we make food that is inspired by them. So, I love it. are you a Fantastic Four fan? I am a Fantastic Four fan, and I I'm familiar with them, but they also gave, they gave a printout of who they are for <laughs> me. <laughs> Which is, that is the thing I know. I know that. I know well, that much. As we play a guessing game uh, to see uh, what uh, characters are inspired by each ingredient, at least you know you have a 25% chance of getting it right. Yes, 100%. I think I'm going to get it right. I think I'm going to get them all right. All right, fantastic. Well, before we dive into the cooking, while I set out my mise en place, uh, we're going to take a, a quick look at the uh, next episode, which features uh, Martellus Bennett, an NFL oh, nice. player and um, very tall person. <laughs> Justin Warner here with Martellus Bennett, and today we're gonna eat the universe. Arr, 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 arr. That was good. Yum. Today, I'm gonna make a Black Panther inspired dish. The thing that I love about this dish, it's called uh, Akabenzi, which to me is a very fun word to say. It is. Akabenzi sounds like something that would clear you up if you have sinuses. Right? Yes. Give me some Akabenzi. <laughs> so, um, we've marinated these pork ribs. Uh, we're gonna put them into a Dutch oven. Oh! This is the Dutch oven, the actual pot. Indeed. Nice. Oh, this is a nice pot, too. All right, I'm going to put these ribs in there. Let me do it, let me do it. Yeah? Man, this is pretty fun. There we go, we get some of that in there, too. Beautiful. And I'll tell you what. What is that? This is just water. This is just good old water. Good old water. So that's two cups, right? I have no idea. So then I'm going to put this in a low and slow oven. So like 250 for like three and a half hours. Or yes. use a pressure cooker, it'll take about 25 minutes. And if you can't handle the pressure, put it in the oven. I'm gonna put this in the oven. Wakanda forever. Yeah! Hey, thanks everybody. That was so much fun to make. Uh, you gotta check out the uh, full episode, it should be out uh, next Tuesday. Um, joining us on stage is the human mic stand, Trent. What's up, Trent? So when I'm using my, uh, both of my hands, uh, hopefully uh, Trent will be able to swing in. Um, a couple things. Uh, in my line of business, uh, when you're up here presenting, talking about food, one of the things that we uh, lean on sometimes too heavily is crutch words. For example, delicious, great, good, nice. One of my least favorite words, nice. Yeah. What does that even mean? It's not a compliment, no, it's right? bad, yeah. <laughs> but today we're gonna lean into crutch words, and everything that we do today is going to be... Fantastic. Yes! Wow, somebody already primed you all? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be great. All right. We also have these uh, limited edition Eat the Universe spoons. And uh, they are so limited edition that I've only been given one. Uh, and so we're going to use this spoon to make a bunch of stuff up here. But uh, if we see very enthusiastic people, people that are displaying fantastic <laughs> fandoms, we're going to say, spoon them. Spoon them. And I'm looking right at you there. right there, right yeah. there. You waved your hands enough that it worked. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so for our first ingredient. All right, Trent, now's your time to shine. Trent, will you also hold my microphone just because I'm lazy? No, I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> so for our first ingredient, we've got some uh, cheese. I love it. It's mozzarella cheese. Because we're going to make a fantastic for caprese salad. Can anyone guess? Well, I'll tell you what. Can you guess yeah. which 
member of the Fantastic Four mm. this represents? I'm going to say that's it's Mr. Fantastic, right? The stretch of the cheek. Thank you. Uh, the stretch spoon of him. spoon him, spoon him, spoon him. It's Reed Richards, right? Yes. It's the stretch of the cheese. He exactly. Stretched, right? So when you're making mozzarella, uh, mozzarella, the curds have to be stretched, and uh, you should you should Google it if you're into like uh, you know the uh, like fun machine videos, uh -huh. uh, you know where you get to watch stuff stretch. You know, like the taffy makers that you see at the beach. Oh it's yeah. It's just like that. Oh, I love that. So I want to get under one of those things. What would the Fantastic Four be without the color blue? Nothing. That's why I wore this terrible golf shirt that I'm wearing. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> what, what is that? What animal it's is like that on there? It's like a Fantastic Four outfit, yeah. I love it. It's a little elk. So uh, the problem, though, when you're making blue food is that not many foods are actually blue. They get called yeah. blue. Like, for example, the blueberry. Yes. But if you mash it up, it's like purple. -y. It's purple, yes. Enter my good friend, spirulina. Wow. So spirulina, and this is some pretty remarkable stuff. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Is blue. At least this variety of it. And it smells great. <laughs> is that a lie? Uh, slightly. <laughs> but what this is going to do is not only make our food blue, but it's also going to add some uh, umami to this. And uh, umami is kind of like the, the secret uh, flavor that chefs love to rant on and on about. Yes. And as a matter of fact, I think umami is fantastic. Oh! Y'all were waiting him. for it. Spoon them. Spoon them. <laughs> All right, here, mash this up. Mash it up? Yeah. Should I, can I mash up the cheese, too? Yeah, go for All it. All right, great. Just make it blue. All right, perfect. All right. And while you're doing oh, that. I'm doing bad already. Here, hold this mic, Trent, if you don't mind. And then I'll do <laughs> you this. You got to do it. This is, I'm sorry. And then I'll, <laughs> who knew that you are going to have to do double duty? <laughs> and then while, while you're doing that, I'll, I will ask you a question. And that question is, I think that the fantastic. <laughs> you all really want the spoons. Just, spoon, 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 just disperse spoon the both, spoons at this point. <laughs> the thing about the, the heroes that we're talking about <laughs> is that they are a family. <laughs> so I'd like to know, what would your family's dynamic be if they were superheroes? Um, if my family was superheroes? Yeah. Oh, God. Um, I mean, I would be the thing, I believe, if I was any superhero. Wait, why is that? You just because like... I look like the thing. I don't know. I mean, you're definitely like... I'd be the lazy, th the non-strong non thing. <laughs> okay. Um, my family, I don't know, we're, uh, uh, what's the most basic super, who's the most basic superheroes? Like, what's a superhero that doesn't really do much? Um, I mean, that's a, that's a good question. I, I don't, who? I don't know. Anyone have an answer? Van? Weiner. Yeah, Weiner? there you go. <laughs> Whatever that guy said. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, my mom is the matriarch, I don't know. Okay, they are officially going to be the judges of, of Spoondom. You're doing a great job. Oh, they just want spoons. I get it. Can I, can I show off how blue that is? It looks immediately less appetizing than it did five seconds ago. <laughs> but 100%, we have the, the official palette. It's blue now, though. Yes. Right? Look at that. We got it. How exciting is that? All right, so let's move on to our, our next ingredient, Trent. Which is a little rough on the outside. I really honestly don't know what happened here. Um, and now they charge more for this and call it an heirloom. But it actually is. And this is honestly what uh, tomatoes really look like before we kind of homogenize them. Yeah. So a little rough on the outside. It looks edible. Yeah, yeah, totally. I think I have an idea who this is supposed to be. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, look, like rough on the outside, soft and squishy on the inside. Uh, yes. This Everybody, is? everyone knows who it is. The thing, yes. Great job. <laughs> I have to cut this tomato to make the dish. Which the thing would not allow. It's true. Here, dig me out a, 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 a knife out of there, will you? The problem is they're all transparent, and so it's very I've difficult never seen, to see. I've never seen people want spoons more in my entire life. Great job. <laughs> all right, my friends. So this, <laughs> they really want those spoons. They really want the spoons. It's because I said limited edition. <laughs> so one of my favorite things about, about heirloom tomatoes and also about uh, the thing is when he, he dons the sunnies, mm -hmm. and, and you can't tell who he is anymore. Yeah. <laughs> How good is that, right? I hope that's included in the dish. Put it on the side of the plate, the sunglasses. What is your ideal disguise? 
my ideal disguise, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hard to cover. I'm, 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 I'm too big, really, to disguise myself. <laughs> so I just, go, I just go with it. So you don't, you don't put on a, uh, a pair of uh, sunglasses and a trench coat, a la the thing? I, I have very squinty eyes. I don't need sunglasses. It's my eyes are protected eyes. from... No, squinty eyes. I, 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 oh. my, uh, they're protected from the sun. I don't need sunglasses. I'm, I, I have no... I, you know what? You know what my my disguise is is my apartment. I stay in there. Uh, <laughs> no one sees me. It's great. It's great. <laughs> it, it's incognito. It's incognito. Yeah. I love that. I actually refer to my apartment as a lair um, because <laughs> I feel like in a lair you do like plotting and stuff. Wait, how many plates do I have here, and how many taste testers? How Are you guys getting hungry over there? How do they all? How did you all become taste testers? What happened? They, they You're all cool. The lottery. They're thinking that it's, it's going to get them one step closer to the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. panel. So check this out. Um, you might think it's, it's wild to be using a plastic knife, but, well, obviously there are security concerns. But um, mm -hmm. a serrated blade is actually one of the best things to use when cutting a uh, tomato. Generally, uh, like a, a normal blade uh, actually kind of like depresses and bruises the oh. tomato and causes it to get super juicy. Hey, but you know what there is, there's no security concern for? Tell me. Spoons! <laughs> How about, how about a round of applause for our fantastic security teams <laughs> keeping us safe? Now, I'll tell you, if you look closely here, you'll see that I'm not really focusing on what I'm doing. I, I, it still looks good. Really? <laughs> yeah, it well, does. On food shows, we like to call this rustic. <laughs> uh, rustic means that, like... If your grandma, you know, like if Aunt May lost all sorts of like hand-eye coordination and cut stuff, or if you're like on these food competition shows and you're totally in the weeds. That's Aunt May is my what if you, you asked about my family as a superhero, we're Aunt May. Just the whole <laughs> the whole group of us. We're has, Aunt May. Has anybody what is this thing? I remember it from a kid, but like Aunt May was like the golden oldie. Did anyone see that? She actually got superpowers and was golden. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah it was good times. Then Here. there's also kind of like a promiscuous young Aunt May. Does anyone know of that comic? Wait, no, really? that's too nerdy for oh, our right, arms too weird, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you look like you'd love to do this. Uh huh. All right, do it. C cut out, cut off the tomato. Oh boy, this I'm gonna somehow cut my finger off, even this, with a plastic knife. This is all the paper towel we had budget for. Oh great. And I just used it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, here we go. It's just the first season, guys. So you know, until we get that season I two. Feel bad I get mine. This is terrible. All right, while you're doing that, I'm gonna introduce the next ingredient. All right, cool. Okay, so the next ingredient, if you look on my Twitter, I actually Not made bad. last night in my hotel room. Um, and I, I brought a hot plate from home in order to make this because I wanted to make something that represents transparency. Mm, okay. Right? So can you take a guess who this might represent? You're doing a great job, by it's the way. It's hard for me to look at that, the, 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 <laughs> the four Fantastic Four characters and cut at the same time. We're asking you to but multitask. You're saying, you're saying transparency. I'm thinking that's maybe... Sue Storm? Nailed it! Oh, phew, thank you. You're God. doing a fantastic job. I don't want to get my ass kicked later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Spoons, oh my God. Spoon them! <laughs> These poor spoon folks. So, how do you make a transparent ingredient? Um, you use agar agar. And so, agar agar makes transparent gels. And so my hot plate overheated and uh, nearly set off the smoke alarms, which I was not about ready to do. Uh, so I had to use my coffee maker. Um, so I apologize in advance if there's any uh, residual grounds. But I think we achieved total clarification. This looks pretty darn clear. And uh, this has a very unique flavor. Do you mind if I spoon it to you? <laughs> sure. sure. It, looks, it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> OK, right. just take a nibble. What do you taste? Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> what do you taste? Spoons. It's kind of vinegary. Yes. 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 So normally in a, uh, in a caprese salad, Ooh. you might find some balsamic vinegar, but balsamic vinegar is definitely not translucent. So That's we cool. used white vinegar, and we also steeped in there some basil. And so basically what that made was like a vinegar basil tea. And it was really exciting. The other cool thing about agar agar, given that it's a seaweed-derived hydrocolloid, but everyone knew that, 
is uh, that it actually jellifies at room temperature. So uh, all I had to do was like let it sit, and uh, it turned into gel. And uh, it also has a very high melting point. That person is getting the bonus plate. That yeah, must no, be for you. Know, you. I was, I, we, we can give some tomato to this plate. Okay. I should have brought some. They're, so, they're looking at what they're getting. They're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is PG. This oh, is PG. Oh, so shoot. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm sorry. But I tell you, that was a fantastic <laughs> recovery. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I now know what superhero I'm like. I'm like Deadpool. I was swear I shouldn't have been swearing like that. I'm sorry. That's all right. Just for the record, my friends, uh, Agar Agar looks like this. You can find it in the health food section of your local uh, superstore. Um, and it's pretty fun. Uh, it makes really good uh, vegetarian substitute for uh, gelatin if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, and it also has a very unique, wouldn't you say, texture. Uh, wait, well, fantastic? Wait, am I supposed to? <laughs> Is this a fantastic or a spoon question? I, all of the above. <laughs> all right. Mike Mitchell. Yes. You have an alliterative name. I do. Very it's much true. so. Yeah. And generally that implies that that is your alter ego and that therefore you also have superpowers. I, yeah, in some way, yeah. Yeah. I, so I have some superpower. Let's flesh this character out, which I think is a very weird term to use while handling food. <laughs> what is my superhero? Yeah. Huh. Uh... I He's, mean, you're funny. I'm good. You know what? I'm good at sleeping. Maybe I, like, put my enemies to sleep. <laughs> Is there something like that? Like, but, a, like a, like a... But tell us about Doughboys. I mean, I, oh, think, yeah. I think that you have, a, a, like, a well, super reviewing power. So, Doughboys is a podcast I do. We review fast food and chain restaurants. Uh, I'm also on a new podcast called Bubble, which is out now, if you listen to it. Um... But on, on, on Doughboys, they call me the Spoon Man, for real. Really? Yes. Wow. I'll tell they you what. They call me the Spoon Man. And you know what? That's my superpower, handing out more spoons to people who want them. I'll tell you, whoever casted you for this, um, well, I'm sorry for you, but they did a fantastic they did a, they, job. They did a fantastic job. Besides my swear slip up, I People are going to think that we're playing golf over here. <laughs> uh, thanks for laughing at that. <laughs> I th that was great. I, th I think that was a joke of the day. But it wasn't fantastic. <laughs> Just keeping you guys on your toes. All right. So let's introduce our next ingredient. Well, how many ingredients do we have here? We got three. Let me plate up this cheese. And okay. you tell us more about what you're up to these days. So I, right now at, uh, I'm on a show called Love that's on Netflix. Uh, season three just came out, uh, and you can watch all three seasons on there. And then uh, Doughboys is on HeadGum. We review fast food and chain restaurants. I've gained 60 pounds since the podcast started. Um, and, uh, and Bubble is the new podcast I'm on, which is a, a sci-fi kind of narrative podcast. It's really great, and that's why I'm down here today. Wait, there's still, there's still an element missing. Oh, I, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to give it away. By process of elimination. By process of elimination, I think you know who's next. And then, besides that, I'm just down. This, I, I just got to Comic-Con last night at midnight, uh, which is, it's great to be here. It's so awesome. I saw Deadpool get out of a lift <laughs> when I pulled up, which is really cool. So, that's all. It's been, it's been awesome. I mean, you pretty much nailed it. I, yeah, I did. Yeah, it's, I'm good to go home now. So how exciting does this cheese look? I mean, it looks like a blue cheese, but it is not blue cheese. And so in the chef world and the art world, this is one of my favorite things. It's called a trompe l'oeil. Are you familiar? It's called a what? A trompe l'oeil. A, a trompe l'oeil? A trompe l'oeil? No, no. We're trying not to make this political, man. <laughs> no, no. I don't want to make this political. <laughs> trump a trompe l'oeil. It literally means to trick the eye. Ah, okay. Right? So if you got this at a table, you'd be like, wow, blue cheese. I didn't sign up for this. Yes. But it's actually just cheese that's blue, and it's going to be super mild-mannered. All right, great. Right? I love it. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited about this. All right, we it, have, looks, it, looks, it looks good. I don't know if I did a good mixing job, but it looks, it looks good. No, you know, I, I think you did, because I think there's an even dispersal, dispersal of the blueness there. Okay. You didn't make the thing totally blue. All right, all right, good. Right? Guys, how do you think he did at dispersing the blue? Four! <laughs> Four! <laughs> don't throw it back on us. That's confusing. <laughs> spoon him! Yeah, spoon that guy. He already got it. I think he has, like, three spoons. So the next ingredient is a bottle of Italian. Uh, a bottle of Italian, oh wow. That's all it says on there. Um, it's olive oil, but I've tricked out this olive oil. Oh, all right. 
and I've tricked out the olive oil with these good guys. Oh, man. All right. Those look spicy yeah. or hot. Yeah. 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 We, we, we don't like to talk about flames or anything, so we'll just say it, it's spicy. It's spicy. Yes, it looks spicy. It's extremely spicy. spicy. So generally, my rule of thumb is uh, the smaller the pepper, uh, the more it hurts. And uh, these are uh, scotch bonnets, and these are no joke. Oh, wow. Um, and as a matter of fact, I, um, I didn't have any gloves when I was cutting them today, and uh, I was very nervous about touching my eye. So uh, seriously, y'all, be careful. Don't let me touch your eye. <laughs> okay? Um, so what I did was I put them in the olive oil, and some of you might say, well, if you just did that last night, has that been enough time to fully infuse? The answer, I don't know. You guys will find out. But one thing that I do know is that uh, capsicum, which is the uh, stuff in here. Oh, my goodness gracious, guys. It's Brian Malarkey, everyone. Brian Malarkey is one of my colleagues on Spoon Grocery em. Games. Spoon, Spoon em. that man. Spoon him. Brian Malarkey, you have, like, your own line of spoons. Brian Malarkey right there, the very well-dressed one. Uh, if you guys are here, uh, he's got some pretty exciting uh, restaurants. Hi, Brian Malarkey's kids and family. Right? Come here to Brian Malarkey's restaurant. I might show up there. We'll see. I don't know. Can I even get a table there, Brian? For me, anything? <laughs> Spoon him. <laughs> so the cool thing about uh, the spicy stuff in here, uh, capsicum, capsicum, et cetera, um, it's actually the stuff in like the, uh, you know, when you have the pain reliever yeah. for like your joints? It's actually made out of hot peppers, and that's why it burns you. Oh, my you. God. Yeah, it's where the hot comes from. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. wild, right? So They uh, just put that in the cream, and you, and you put it, is that true? Like, yeah. Well, that's insane. Yeah, so I, I'm not saying do this. I would never say do this. We have to have a lot of disclaimers on this show. Um, I almost touched my eye. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, heat is good for that. Um, it's a natural anti-inflammatory. These things are scary. I don't like them, I don't like them out here. Right? These little peppers, yeah. Well, uh, just you wait. So that, that spicy stuff is really only soluble in fats and alcohol. Okay. Uh, which is why it's so refreshing to have an ice cold glass of milk when you're eating spicy food. Oh, all right, right? yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So generally the more fat in this, or we like to say lipid in my business because like fat is a no-no word, even though we all know fat is fantastic. <laughs> that really got him. <laughs> Just spoon him. Where are my fat fans at? Yes! Yeah! Give it up! <laughs> So yeah, uh, this is a lipid, uh, which means that hopefully the, uh, there will be some extraction here. All right, and, great. Um, let's find out. I'm going to give it a little drizz. All right, yeah, yeah drizz, drizz it up. Let's see it. So, For our kind of a morning caprese salad. In, indeed. <laughs> I never I, had a caprese this early in the morning before. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm going to plug this hole for a little bit. Actually, let's do a chef taste. Do you guys know how like real chefs taste things? It's like this. I'll show you. And so you don't have to wash your hands, but it's a great hack when you're in your kitchen. And if you don't want to put your fingers all over other people's food. <laughs> As we cut tomatoes with our bare hands. Don't worry. Uh, we have chef hands. Chef hands notoriously clean, especially mm -hmm. at Comic-Con. So this is the way you do it. Oh, man, that's got some heat. It's got heat? That's got some heat. Hit me up. Yeah. I'm definitely going to touch my eye. I mean, I, I think that we'll all be able to handle it. But it creeps up. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it coming. <laughs> it is. It's got a little heat. Right? And I'm afraid. Now I'm afraid of that spot on my hand for the rest of the day. Yeah, whatever you do, <laughs> don't touch your eye. Uh, just find some other fat so that doesn't have uh, spicy stuff infused in it <laughs> and, and rub it on there. <laughs> my hands are fat enough. So um, I don't know if you know, but we've met before. Oh, no way. Yeah, for real. When, when was this? Um, late at night on Twitter. Oh, did we, did we, I hope we weren't in a Twitter <laughs> battle. Oh, man, that really does kick up. On, it, 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 it takes a little bit, but it, it gets there. Hi there. Hi, yeah. Yeah, so we thought it was Human Torch, but it's almost like, like the Invisible Woman. You know? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. You didn't see it until it was Human there. Human Torch, you're out. You don't, you don't make it to the plate. Well, you know, before I dive into the Twitter conversation, one thing that I love about the Invisible Woman and about invisibility in general and how that all relates to uh, food mm -hmm. is that uh, smell and taste are actually kind of like our superpower in that they let us see invisible things. Now, obviously, we don't get to see them, but they let us perceive that they're there. So say, for example, the cheese was rancid. You might not know the cheese was rancid until you smell it or taste it. There might not be any visual clues. <laughs> they're scared enough already. <laughs> I'm not selling this thing. But don't worry. This is all the freshness of the fresh, I assure you. So that's, that's pretty exciting. I don't think a lot of people think about that. I think a lot of people think that, like, Eyes, you know, are the way to go. Mm hmm Yeah. Right? Okay, so she knows. before we dive into Twitter, I think we can serve this, right? Do I have any other 
I mean, we put four ingredients on the plate, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to season this up real quick with some salt packets that I got from the cafeteria back there. All right, great. All right. While we're doing I'll that. I'll vamp, yeah. How about you give a dramatic reading of our Twitter conversation? Oh, sure. Is it, where is it? Is it, it? It's on the other side of your cheat sheet. Oh, my God. <laughs> you didn't even know this was coming, did you? <laughs> oh, no, I did not know this was coming. All right, so Justin says to me, at B-Day Boys Mitch, which is, my, uh, which is my Twitter handle, as a hashtag grocery games judge and competitor, I was pumped to hear Randy is a fan. Mike, that's me. This is cool as hell. CC Nick Ryger, who is my co-host. Uh, that's that's a, that's great. I remember this. That's insane. I fanboyed. You, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. My my character on Love was a cook. Uh, well, he was like a chef. He was an, he was a tr real idiot and really didn't know what to do. That's not true. He had a lot of aspiration. He had he had aspirations, but he he and, and then he was making a brisket. But this shows how little I know about food. Is I was basting the brisket and. And like as an imp like I improvised and I took some of the base and I put it in my mouth and they were like, you can't do that. <laughs> They're like, it's raw meat. You're going to be so sick. And it, I was like, oh, OK. I had no idea. It was like film brisket. It was. Yeah, it was. Show it was. Fil it was show brisket. You don't get to eat any of the show food, except, unlike here, which is great. Sh show brisket. It was I, show brisket. I don't think I've ever <laughs> thought I would ever have to say that. Show brisket. It's going to become a thing after Thank this. Thank you very I'm much. Sure. Yeah. You know that it's it's kind of amazing. In like TV and food, they actually have, like hire chefs and stuff to like make show brisket. A lot of my uh, my friends and colleagues oh, do that's that. Cool. And yeah. they like make beautiful food that is completely and totally inedible. <laughs> <laughs> right, but it looks, it looks great, though. Unlike myself, I make food that's totally edible, and we're about ready to get you some uh, cutlery uh, in order oh, to yeah. consume it. And I think it's going to be really exciting. Oh man, this and is is this our is this ours to try? Yeah, it is yours to try. Oh man! And so you guys should make sure that you get like a, a total, like complete bite, you, uh, the perfect bite. You guys are lucky because this is the one I prepared, so no one got it. You're very lucky. Did you guys see how I like salt bayed everything? That was that with, was with a packet from the cafeteria. That was fantastic. All right, they're still with us. I tell you, there's actually a reason for this salt bay gesture. I mean, he is definitely adds a little flourish to it. But the reasoning for that is, is when you distribute the salt from up high, it actually uh, disperses it more evenly oh, around your food. All right, that makes sense. You don't have to like bounce it off your elbow. That's yeah. never been a requirement in I my. I actually don't. I don't need you to. Yeah, I don't. I don't want someone to bounce it off their elbow. It's kind of weird. It's kind of strange. It's like yeah. a salt layup or something. <laughs> <laughs> Not my thing. Um, did you guys get uh, cutlery over there? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, dig in, everybody. Right? The proof is in the caprese. It really doesn't roll off the tongue. But um, give it a try. Oh, we didn't get you anything. Oh, are you, you going to have a bite of it, too? No. <laughs> <laughs> Chef's notoriously, um, you know, it doesn't matter if I like it. It really doesn't. What matters is if you guys like it. Obviously, I'm biased. I created it. It's like my, my Franklin Richards, you know? <laughs> but let's get, see. I'm going to get each component. All right, TV judges, we got to get good bites. It's at least level seven or above. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. And I don't need to shield my taste buds. Oh, I love it. It's pretty Hired. good. <laughs> I will try, bud. Fantastic. Yep. Thank you. You win. <laughs> this is really fantastic. Wow, really, really fantastic. fantastic. This is fabulously fantastic. Wow. Awesomely fantastic. Man, I, I tell you what, we, we got the right people up here. I wish yeah. you could be my critics when I'm on these game shows, like sweating for my life, you know, <laughs> with a giant red clock that says, you have 27 minutes to cook, prepare, and plate <laughs> your ridiculous dish. Yeah, that's not right. I feel like that's not right. Yeah, they should give more time in cooking shows. Make them three hours long, I say. Right? Uh, meanwhile, Garrett's down here, uh, who is one of the producers for Eat the Universe. He's down here, like, gesturing red clock gestures at me that are like, <laughs> oh, my goodness, I only have five minutes. And then we, like, cut to my floating head being like, so I only have five minutes left. And <laughs> then we won't cut to my floating head. Um, I got to say, on, on Doughboys, we, we rank everything out of, out of five forks. Oh, wow. So you can get zero to five forks. This gets five forks. It's fantastic. Spoon them. Spoon everybody. 
spooned a lot of them. There's Everyone. no spoons left. We gave you all the spoons. I'll tell you what, I, I, I took a bite, and I'm pleased. And it's you know, good. what I think I like most about this is when you look at this dish, you might identify it as a caprese. You're going to notice some weirdness in the gel. But what I like about this, and I've actually never made this before, like literally ever. We didn't even do a practice run. I was like, well, it's all literally in one Marvel bag. Um, and so what I like about this is you have a lot of textural juxtaposition here. You have the, uh, the suppleness of the agar agar, which actually makes the tomato um, feel like a little bit more thingy. It's like a little bit tougher because the agar agar almost melts. Yeah. It's, it's, it's actually, it's really good. Yeah, you're into it? The, the, the vinegar, the, solidi the Sioux storm of the dish is, is the solidified vinegar. Right. It's great. It works really well with, with the tomato and cheese. And I think you get a, maybe you guys can smile and nod, um, but I think you get a surprising amount of basil in that as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that the average person will look at this and say, oh, where's the basil? Gabagool. <laughs> if the average person was just like Italian. Italian, yeah, <laughs> like the bottle, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we bottled their soul. <laughs> Well, um, this, I believe, I'm looking at the script here. We have just a few minutes left, and I think this is the time where you just uh, plug relentlessly. All right, yeah, check out Bubble, the podcast. Uh, it's, out, it's out now. All right, some listeners uh, to it in the audience, yeah. Um, Doughboy's podcast, which is another podcast that I do. All, I'm plugging all podcasts. And uh, Love on Netflix, check it out. Wonderful. Everybody, oh. please. And Mitch Live. Mitch.live is a new show that I'm doing. Uh, where basically they push me out on stage and I interview guests and I don't know what I'm doing at all. Kind of, kind of <laughs> close to this, actually. Well, yeah. Typecasting. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, please uh, give a warm round of applause to our uh, daring taste oh, testers them. and yeah. to Mike Mitchell. I think you guys did a uh, fantastic four, four. job. Um, and I, I implore you all to please check out Eat the Universe if you liked uh, what you saw here today. Imagine how good it would be with editing. Goodbye, everyone. Give it up for Justin, too. Come on, everybody. Spoon them. Spoon everyone. <laughs>